Fusion 360 does not have its own cabinet configurator, but there are a few add-ons that are available to help you build cabinets. In this video, we'll examine three such solutions. First up is JoinerCAD. This cabinetry software add-on provides for skeleton cabinet modeling. Basically, it provides a dialog for creating cabinet boxes, allowing for several different joint types and board thicknesses. It also easily facilitates dividers and shelves. It comes with plenty of hardware that you can place with its smart hardware insertion tool. It comes with its own material texture library, which can be applied onto surfaces and edge banding. Missing from this software add-on is the ability to create and place drawers, even though this seems to be available from their animations. Useful? Yes. JoinerCAD gives you skeleton design and material assignment for boards and edges, a hardware library, and facilitates a bill of material, all in their free version. And for a low monthly fee, something like 17 bucks, you get extra features such as the smart hardware attachment tool and unlimited texture finish tools. It makes sense to at least get the free version. The next cabinet configuration add-on for Fusion 360 is CS Furniture by CAD Studio. This software has its own version of skeleton modeling that is pretty nifty allowing for the quick creation of cabinet boxes. However, once again, there is no feature for the creation and placement of drawers. It does, however, have the ability to create joints with placed hardware. There is no free version, and it's about a hundred bucks per year. The third cabinet configuration solution for Fusion 360 is not a configurator, but a library that uses the Fusion 360 configuration ability, only available with paid accounts. Download the Fusion 360 library from the link. Once extracted and uploaded into your project, drag and drop the configurator component. Select the configuration that you prefer. This one has a hidden undermount drawer. Undermount refers to the type of runner. Rotate and position the cabinet. Set a pivot. at your preferred reference point, point in the direction you want it to go, and snap to place. Mounting holes are included. And just for reference, let me see that this actually has a drawer, which can be copied up. To finish placing this component, we're going to save as and replace. This way, the component will not be shared with other components, but will be a new, unique component. We could also edit it in place and then change the parameters. Cabinet library defaults such as toe kick, counter height, and depth are controlled by a master file. Drawers and their Blum Hardware Tandem Movento slides adjust automatically with the depth.
including their mounting holes. I'm the team leader on this project. And while this cabinet library is great and functional, it might be not be perfect. If you drag a component into your project and you find that, that cabinet does not work according to expectation, please email me right away and I will fix it for you within the hour, Monday to Friday. I really want this to be your cabinet configuration solution for Fusion 360.